Hey, good morning. Ben here with you for Studio on the Lake. Still working on that spring deal. Waiting for trees to leaf out. Hey, today we're going to do a couple of crochet hooks in a different sort of manner. Here's some of the crochet hooks that have been done in the past. These are uh, wooden ones. I believe uh, the hook portion of it is uh, bamboo and then the other is various different woods. I think most of those are walnut. Something similar to that. My wife likes the handles a little bit fatter. Uh, fits in her hands a little bit better. We're going to start off with some uh, mahogany of some sort. And then here's a uh, cheap set of uh, hooks. Didn't pay much for it. The reasoning for those is I'm going to insert the metal portion of that into the the wooden part because the handle is the issue not necessarily the end part uh, here's the tools that you're going to need to put that together you can carve the hook portion of the on that but uh, there's a lot of trial and error involved in that and you need someone who knows how to crochet his participation and back and forth and adjusting them and then throwing it away when it you make the wrong cut and it doesn't quite work right or it grabs and tears the yarn or the thread so just easier to buy a cheap set that's already worked all that stuff out and adjust the handle which is what you want to change went ahead and put that in a sureline lathe used a four jaw chuck and sort of centered it if you take a look at the way that thing's spinning on there it's a, a little bit out of whack but it'll it'll do the trick no need to put a dial indicator on this. Not not trying to true it up. This speed uh, on the turning is about five times faster than than normal. Uh, you don't need to watch me turn this. I think each of these of the two took about five minutes, some total, to do the turning on it. I was too lazy to go out to the shed and and grab the micro turning tools that I noticed in a box out there in storage and so I'm just using carving tools pretty quick get the shape cut it down I won't give you measurements on it uh, if you're really interested leave a comment I will go ahead and take some measurements for you at some point but primarily you'll need a reference hook and someone's hand to make these. This is Danish oil going on there. The process up to this was I sanded with uh, probably 120, 600 grit, used some steel wool, and then uh, came back. About two coats of the Danish oil. And I let it turn on the lathe for about five minutes and it, it, it dries just rock hard. Got a pretty nice finish. Go ahead and pull it out of the chuck cut the uh, two different ends on this one particularly off uh, the, sometimes I'll leave one end that's finished and you don't have to do much to it but this one's going to need uh, both ends cut off got a real uh, good feel to it nice and smooth and uh, clean I guess shiny Everybody loves shiny stuff. Here's a second one. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time. Uh, I'm going to zoom through this pretty quick. You notice I, I didn't show you cutting it. That's pretty straightforward. Lots of videos out there tell you how to cut various different beads. Or if you go ahead and invest in all this equipment and you're a first time turner, part of the fun is to figure out what each of these things do. A word of warning. I whacked my thumb on that uh, spinning chuck over there. Hey, this is a, a hardwood dowel, and I'm just burnishing in between sanding. It gives it a really nice uh, feel in your hand. There's that Danish oil. Got a little bit on the lathe. For those of you purists, won't like that, but that's not hurting a thing. Pull it out of the chuck. This one does not need the right hand uh, portion of it where the hook's going to go in anything done to it there's the two of them all cut off you can see about where I cut those hooks that little flattened portion is is where your thumb and hand would reference on that if you're using them and if you uh, know how to crochet 
you'll know what I'm talking about. Here's a real quick one here. Yeah, I typically go ahead and burn the hook size into the handle for quick reference. These I didn't do that. And I'm not sure it's 100% necessary because my wife was looking at them and she has a little hook gauge and she knew exactly what size they were. So don't have to think about it, I guess. Three minute or, or five minute epoxy. I don't know why I said three minute epoxy. Press the uh, press fit with the epoxy in. There's the two of them. And I got to admit, this one on the right here, I really designed it backwards. I was going to put the hook in the other end and wasn't paying any attention. But the crochet expert tells me that uh, it'll work just fine the way it is. So there you have crochet hooks. This is Ben for Studio on the Lake. I have other videos out there. If you go ahead and click down in the lower right hand corner, you can subscribe to the channel, Studio on the Lake. By all means, click, leave a comment, and subscribe.